Hi everyone, I'm Shira from Adelante and today we'll talk about views. Let's dive in. Views are a way to organize your tickets by grouping them into lists based on certain criteria. For example, you can create a view for unsolved tickets that are assigned to you. Using views can help you determine what tickets need attention from you or your team and plan accordingly. Zendesk support includes the following type of views. Default views that are a number of predefined views created when you open Zendesk support account. You can deactivate or edit most of these views. However, the suspended tickets and deleted tickets views cannot be edited or removed from your list of views. Shared views. Administrators can create views that are available to all agents or to all agents in a specific group. Personal views. Agents can create views that are available only to themselves. Let's create our first view. On the admin center, click on workspaces and on the left, choose views. Here you'll see all the different views that are active at the moment and also the inactive ones. Use the option button to do all sorts of action. Edit view, clone view, move to first position, move to last position, select position and deactivate view. We recommend cloning views instead of creating new ones. This can be done simply by pressing the clone view button. Now you can name your new cloned view. I'll call it sales tickets. You can give it a short description and decide who has access to it. Any agent, available to all agents. Agents in specific group, available only to agents in the group specified. And only you, available only to you as a personal view. Now you can delete the conditions and create new ones. For example, group is sales. Only the tickets that are assigned to the sales group will appear on this view. The reason we recommend using the clone view option is that it allows you to keep all necessary view columns instead of redefining them for each new view. When you're done, press save. Now you can go and check out your new view in the view page. You can see all the different columns and the tickets that are available to this view. I want to show you one last usage of views. If you create a trigger to add tags to tickets according to its name, you can create a view with conditions about tags. Let's see, add conditions, tags, contain at least one of the following, and then the relevant tag. This way, you can automatically divide your tickets to views. To learn more about creating triggers, go watch our triggers guide. We've reached the end of this lesson. I hope you got all the information you need. Thank you for watching.